Hello, I'm Tim Koku from Wise Media, and I'm here with Mr. Thomas Nyak from um, South Sudan, who is director at the Ministry of Postal and Telecommunications in the country. Um, I'm sure your country's had a lot of um, recent development and a lot of changes going on um, in recent years, and now, as I understand it, you're ready to, to really expand networks. What I'm interested to know is is what the infrastructure is exists that exists at the moment how that is is um, capable of, of handling telecommunications and connecting citizens but also what the projects are in the future well, so. thank you very much uh, indeed for uh, this opportunity uh, South Sudan has just emerged from war but inherited an infrastructure from Sudan of which we have had our independence. And uh, the, the nature of the country is that it is a landlocked and uh, it didn't have the fiber, but uh, the infrastructure is basically satellite communications. And uh, we have uh, uh, four telecom operators that are using satellite communication system. And uh, these ones are able to carry out all the services that are needed, except that uh, it doesn't yet cover the whole population. Okay. But we are trying to, to see that this infrastructure is modified through fiber that it can, so that it can be able to carry out uh, all the traffic and uh, access, provide access for people who are needing information. Okay. okay, so how people, particularly say, for example, in remote areas, how, how do they gain access to the, to the network? Or do they have, I mean, is there a culture of mobile phones there, or, or is it more of a sort of broadband um, center approach? At the moment, uh, these four mobile operators are having uh, their own uh, rollout, of course, uh, coordinated with the government mm -hmm. rollout, and uh, they are able to reach certain units, especially the center of the states and some uh, uh, administrative units we call counties. Mm -hmm they are able to reach uh, most of them through satellite communications, that is uh, VSATs and uh, some microwave uh, channels. Mm -hmm. Then these people are able to have mobile phones and uh, of course uh, basically 2G. Yeah. And they are able to talk and uh, receive calls uh, daily. There are a few 3Gs that are also able to access the internet in those states. So that uh, those are the people who are still uh, privileged, but the majority is still not uh, privileged and will have to be covered during that uh, system. They are trying their best to uh, let uh, VSATs, uh, very small aperture terminals, uh, go to those places that are not covered and they are still going on. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I understand also, I don't know if they're involved in your country, but the UN Broadband Commission are quite um, intent on trying to get wireless broadband um, into places, for example, where you can really interconnect citizens. Is that something you're looking at, or are you staying with the satellite infrastructure at the moment? Yes, for the broadband, of course, with the satellite, it is very restrictive and uh, we are trying to to establish a fiber optical cable connectivity to accommodate broadband and this broadband we need to access the regional cables and we international cables for the regional and the international content and this is a project which is a uh, uh, drawn and uh, yet to take off and uh, once this uh, optical cable 
is established through our neighboring countries mm -hmm. and the national backbone is established then we are able to get a huge capacity mm -hmm. and the, all the content the international content the regional content the local content will be accommodated and everybody will find it also cheaper and affordable fantastic so it's opening up services access to services for the citizens that is your goal yes the access to services that includes uh, um, uh, e-government service and um, uh, e-commerce uh, that will all be accommodated and this is what is necessarily needed by the citizen the people want uh, government services online uh, banking for example sure and other commercial uh, services yes health services, these ones can be possible once the fiber optical system is established, is established. in the, in the, in the oh. country. Well, good luck with all of this, and I'm sure you know, it's all progress and all towards what we're talking about is sustainable development, so all the best. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks very much Thank indeed. You. Great. Thank Thanks. you.